Power 5 questions which Pac-12 teams could be playoff contenders? FESCOR completes its tour of the major college football conferences with this five-question preview of the Pac-12, a conference looking to reach the college football playoff for the first time since 2016. Three years ago, was Georgia's future. A five-star recruit out of Lake Stevens, Washington, Eason began his college career on the other side of the country. He threw 16 but after Eason injured his knee in the 2017 season opener, took over the Bulldogs' offense. Eason's time in at he sat out the 2018 season and now takes over a Huskies offense that has the playmakers to take to another Pac-12 title. The question is whether Eason can be the one to guide them there. With four returning starters, including massive left tackle, the offensive line is reliable. 58 recept though the Huskies must replace 9 starters on defense, their opponents have averaged fewer than 20 points per game for 4 consecutive seasons. Chris Peterson, if Eason provides consistency at quarterback, Washington defends its title. Played for its first Pac-12 championship last season. But without starting, in 2019, Utah is a popular pick to not only get back to the conference championship but to win it. The Utes enter the campaign with 14 returning starters. Huntley is back, but it's the defense that can make this year special. Utah's strength is its defensive line, which returns in full. Tackle 3 sack. The Utes are also strong in the secondary, led by corner 4 interceptions. And, of course, the team is bolstered by one of college football's most consistent coaches in Kyle Whittingham. Utah has reached a five years after took to the national championship game, it looks like the Ducks could gear up for another run. In terms of ceiling, Oregon might be the team most likely to snap the Pac-12's college football playoff drought, and it has an opportunity to showcase its potential August 31 against Auburn in Arlington, Texas. The Ducks have 10 returning starters on offense, including potential first-round pick at quarterback. Herbert should benefit from the addition of Penn State graduate transfer at receiver, and is one of the better tight ends in college football. The defense, meanwhile, adds highly hyped freshman defensive end. Linebacker record, but there are still reasons for concern. Oregon and Herbert showed inconsistencies last year. The Ducks followed up, then, there's Oregon's biggest obstacle of all the schedule. In addition to a new, for the first time since 2001, USC will likely enter the season unranked. Following the first, after briefly employing Cliff Kingsbury, USC brings in Graham Harrell as offensive coordinator. Harrell coached one of, he gets to work with, who had an uneven freshman year with 14 passing touchdowns and 10 interceptions. As a team, Daniels should be better under Harrell, and the USC receivers should be happy, too. 705th The defense was an issue last season, and there's no guarantee it will be fixed in 2019. USC enters with three new starters in the secondary, it's hard to tell if the Trojans will be more opportunistic. But they'll get an early year one of the Kevin Sumlin marriage was bumpy. Tate entered 2018 as a legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate after running for 1,411 yards in 2017, including three games of 200-plus yards. But last year, he didn't run. Arizona tried, he finished his junior campaign with 224 total rushing yards. He eclipsed that Tate appears to be healthy entering fall camp and the Wildcats play what could be a soft September schedule against Hawaii, Northern Arizona, Texas Tech, and UCLA. So which tape will we get in 2019? More in this series. Mark Cooper is Thescore's NCAA writer. You can find him on Copyright Copyright 2019 Score Media Ventures Incorporated. All rights reserved. Related slideshow early top 25 college football teams for 2019 provided by USA Today Sports A.
Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot, pot.